Hello guys, welcome back to the Johnny Gets Cash YouTube channel. Welcome to the second part in the Daihatsu 4-track restoration. Today I'm going to be stripping out the interior of the 4-track and having a better look at the floorboards and see what uh, hidden joys await us there. Almost certainly there's going to be a bit more rust and corrosion and things like that, but um, it shouldn't be the end of the world. And uh, as we're going to be taking the body off the chassis, it pays to get the interior out so I can get access to the body mount bolts anyway. So without further ado, let's get on, get that interior stripped, see what we're working with, and then move on to the next stage where we can start preparing to take the body off the chassis of the four track. Let's go. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Top Don Jump Starters. Top Don have created an ultra tough, compact emergency jump starter power bank that is capable of providing up to 35 starts from a single charge. Supplied in its own tough carry case, this awesome bit of kit not only functions as an emergency jump starter for your vehicle, it also acts as a power bank, offering two USB and one DC outputs, meaning that you can charge your electronic devices straight from the unit. In addition to this, the Top Don Jump Starter also contains a powerful LED flashlight with strobe and SOS mode built in, so you'll be covered if you ever need it at night time. This compact but versatile unit is ideal to keep in your vehicle in case of an emergency, or simply just to have at home for peace of mind. If you'd like to get your hands on one of these jump starter power banks, I've included a link in the description below to where you can buy one.
I've got to hold it here. After my last video, I had a few comments suggesting that I chuck on a set of big tyres and take the back off this 4-track to make it into a pickup truck. Well, funnily enough, and as you can see here, I already have a 4-track just like that. This tough looking little thing is something that my dad and I built a few years ago to use as a logging truck, and when you think about it, it's the perfect vehicle for the job instead of a tractor or an ATV. Not only do you benefit from the legendary toughness and the reliability of the 4-track, there's the added bonus of a weatherproof seating area for two people with light, heat and a radio. Naturally, it will still tow a trailer as well, so it was an all-round perfect solution for us. These days, this 4-track doesn't see much, if any, action, and it spends the majority of its life tucked away at the back of the workshop. But you can be sure, if there's ever a heavy fall of snow, or if a lorry gets stuck in the mud, this little weapon is the first thing to be called on, and it'll perform every single time. Another job that I did off camera was to remove all redundant or aftermarket wiring from the 4-track, including an old alarm system. In case you ever wondered just how much extra stuff ends up getting tagged onto a truck over the course of its life, just check out this bundle. This is all redundant. Right then guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. You've seen me remove the interior from the Daihatsu and find what was underneath there. So there's a few areas as predicted that uh, we didn't know about, but as I said, I was kind of expecting them. Nothing's too much of a problem. It hasn't dampened my enthusiasm for the project. Now, the other reason that I removed the interior was to get a better access to the body mounting bolts, because in the next episode, I'll begin to remove the body from the chassis of this Daihatsu. Now, if you'd like to see that video, make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell icon so you'll get a notification when that video goes live. So you also got to see my Daihatsu 4-track pickup, which was uh, used as a logging truck for many years, but as explained, it doesn't really get a lot of use these days, but uh, it's pretty cool and it's, it's useful to have about in case of an emergency. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Perhaps I'll do some more videos on it. If you'd like to see more of it, just let me know. Or again, if you've got any questions on this or the, or the pickup, just uh, put them in the comments and I'll do my best to respond to them. But until next time, thank you ever so much for watching and I'll catch you later. Cheers. Yeah.